the Tom Likas Show. And how was it? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. And here we are. The next to last edition of the Tom Likas Show. For now, there will be an edition of the Tom Likas Show tomorrow from 3 to 5 p.m. 3 to 5 p.m. tomorrow. And we will be leaving you at 5 p.m. tomorrow. So uh, do plan to be here because uh, it will be our last chance to get together for a while. And um, I'd hate for you to miss that. There'll be no podcasts. Don't plan on sending me an email asking, Dude, could you send me an MP3? No. Because after 5 o'clock tomorrow, I don't want to do any work. Bottom line, uh, be tuned in tomorrow. Listen any way you can. Anyway, uh, we are here uh, kind of uh, wrapping up loose ends and uh, be letting you know that uh, um, we have enjoyed our time here. Uh, Gary, Dino, and I have enjoyed our time. Our intern, Javier, who's here in the studio with us. Uh, Yab Botang, did he uh, leave the studio finally? Our former intern, uh, Mike Dooley, our original screener, walked in. God only knows who's going to wander by. We're going to do the show from the radio station tomorrow. As you all know, uh, the hell with it. I don't care. We've been doing our show from the lot of Paramount Pictures now uh, since April of, of 2007. And this is our last show from Paramount. And tomorrow we're going to do our show from the studio's of 97.1 FM Talk uh, uh, over there um, on the Miracle Mile, as they say on the all-news stations, the Miracle Mile. Who calls it the Miracle Mile anymore? Who calls it that? It was the Miracle Mile back when Orbax was at Fairfax and, and Wilshire, okay, or the May Company. <laughs> or when uh, Bullock's had a store on Wilshire Boulevard, but whatever happened to Bullock's? It's kind of faded into Huell Hauser's memory. The Miracle Mile. All there is is a bunch of uh, tar bubbling up from beneath the surface. <laughs> That's about it. Anyway, it's you and me. You and me on the telephone here, and uh, you've got my full attention for the next hour. And uh, don't forget that uh, tomorrow we will have uh, our final two hours together. So you'll have time to gather your thoughts. Stop weeping. If you are weeping, indeed, you'll have a chance to uh, collect yourself. And then we'll have one last chance together to uh, to talk. And then at 5 o'clock, uh, I'm going to make you feel proud you tuned in. I'm going to make you proud. And you're going to be happy you heard the show tomorrow. Now, by the way, uh, before I go to any more phone calls here, uh, I've always given the audience what they want. This has uh, been the hallmark of our success all this time. And tomorrow is no exception. It doesn't matter that we are winding things down here. I always want to give you what you want. And the audience has always guided me. I love to take credit for all of this, but all I am is uh, yeah, the, the person who channels your energy. Yeah, the audience knows, and the audience responds, and the audience lets me know what's right and what's wrong, what works and what doesn't. And uh, I am looking at my email, and by the way, my email box, I can't even get close to reading all the email, though I'm trying. And our MySpace uh, is just full of messages and friend requests, and we're getting to all of those as fast as we can. But, you know, there's, there's going to be a bit of a backup. But there's been a theme emerging, and I want to tell you about it. And, uh, you know, we'll go with it if this is what you want to do, because in the end, it's your show. And uh, we'll, we're going to end this thing any way you want to end it. Now, as you know, we've had Flash Friday on this program, always in the summertime and a little bit of the spring and fall, uh, going back since 1998. And a number of you wanted the last day on the air to be Flash Friday, but not only be Flash Friday, but uh, because you want to see boobs out on the highway, but also because I think a number of you have this idea that I think all the fans of the show want to want to give a big final show of support by turning their headlights on tomorrow. And so I am going to uh, defer to the audience. Uh, I obviously will not be on the freeway until 5 o'clock, so I will not be able to turn my headlights on. 
But uh, if the listeners want to give us one last show of support on the way out the door by turning their headlights on all over Southern California and wherever you may be, who am I to stop you? I'm just channeling what you've asked for. So um, I don't know how many people turn their headlights on. I don't know how big it's going to be. I told you we're number one in men 2554. We've uh, The reason we're leaving the air is not ratings. I have to keep reminding you about that in case uh, I've seen some ill-informed stories. Uh, some uh, people have written about radio who never bothered to interview me or anybody who knows what's going on. This is not about ratings, okay? This is a whole other story. This is about uh, psychographics and demographics and cost containment and what have you. But it is not about us having bad ratings. We have good ratings. Very good ratings. And I guess you'll know how big the ratings are tomorrow if everybody turns their headlights on. So, okay, that's what we're going to do. That's what you want, and that's what... Now, by the way, if you think this is a bad idea, you can call up and tell me, and maybe you can change my mind, and we'll, we'll, we won't do it. But many of you have said, let's make the last day of Flash Friday, even though it's not Flash Friday season. We won't be on beyond sunset tomorrow anyway, so we can have a Flash Friday. We can do that. So we'll do that. Anyway, here's our telephone number, 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. Let's say hello here to Melanie. Melanie is calling us. Uh, she's listening to the online stream in Phoenix on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How's it going? Great. Thank you. I want to say first-time caller, long-time fan. Thank you. I'm really excited to talk to you. And I, when I learned today that it was going to be my last chance, I was like, I have some things to say to this man, so I thought I needed to give you a call. I'm glad you did. Um, I wanted to thank you. You got me my divorce. You like pretty much helped me through it, and you helped me get almost out of debt. By I, you had a call a couple months ago from a girl who was just you called her a deadbeat. You said you're living like a deadbeat. You're sitting here not paying off your debt, and I just picked up the phone and called in my debt that instant because I was like, no, I'm done with this. And you know it's been great ever since. I've felt better, and basically you've been a huge inspiration, and you make me a better woman, and I'm so grateful. Has that helped you, by the way, with all the economic problems we're having, being debt free? Oh, definitely. I'm not quite debt-free yet, but I'm a lot closer. You know, I had the money, and instead of spending it on something else, I just put it straight to the debt and paid off one of my, you know, delinquent accounts completely and just got it done with. Good for you. And, you know, I was stuck with a... I got married at 18, like five months after turning 18, and I got basically a man who was like all of the women that you describe. And the more I listen to you, the more I start to realize this is... I'm, I'm with one of these women that Tom warned you about, <laughs> and... I, I just I don't want to be that kind of woman. I don't want to be with a man like that. I don't want to be with anyone like that. And you know, you've definitely changed my view on things. And I wanted to thank you so much because without you, I probably would have kept being crazy. Wow. Well, <laughs> thank you so much for that, Melanie. I really appreciate your call. I do, Jonathan. Jonathan's also in Arizona. All the Arizona calls here. This is Avondale, Arizona, listening to the online stream on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yeah, hi, Tom. Hi. I uh, personally wanted to call in and thank you for uh, just everything you're doing. And uh just want to tell you that thanks to you, I changed my life completely. Um, I, I, you know, DTB, took your advice. Uh, now I'm enrolling for, for college, trying to get my education. And uh, I man up, and I'm taking care of my responsibility. I'm still paying child support, but I'm now taking care of both of my kids. And uh, we're in the process of her dropping a child support. But it was all thanks to what you get on the air and you preach to these young kids and what all these dumb people call and argue about. Uh, I was from a family that my parents are still married. So just like you say, I, I thought that was how life was supposed to be. And I got I got in some deep stuff. And uh, luckily, I, I the girl that I got pregnant other than my other two kids that I have already, she she took uh, she had an abortion. She did it on her own, and but I was so stupid, so naive at that time that I, I was begging her, I was crying to her not to have it. And now that I listen to you, I, I was feeling sorry all that year. And my brother got me into listening to you. And now that I listen to you and I, and I listen to what you say, it's I, I, I dodged the bullet, and I see it that way now. But it's all because of your good work and your good deeds, and I'm going to miss you. 
Jonathan, thank you for the call. I appreciate it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. It is the next to last Tom Likas show. The final Tom Likas show will be a Flash Friday tomorrow. Only two hours between 3 and 5 p.m. After 5, we're gone tomorrow. So don't wait till 5 to tune in or we won't be here. I'm giving you fair notice. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. Our next to last show. The last show is tomorrow between 3 and 5. And indeed, it will be the final Flash Friday because you asked for it. Okay, headlights on tomorrow, everybody. Show your support for the Tom Likas Show. Why not? Absolutely. Show us you're out there. It's what you've asked for. And tomorrow I'll bring some of my friends into the studio. Some TV cameras. Ah, it's going to be fun. Looking forward to it. Lillian on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Lillian. I just wanted to thank you for everything you've done for us. I just wanted to tell you, I don't think I've been this sad since 9-11. And I want to thank you for everything you've done for us and given us. And like your last caller, you've got me through so much stuff in so many years. And I want to tell you how much we all are going to miss you. And we all appreciate you so much. And I, I, this is a really sad day for a lot of us. And I know I could speak for a lot of people. And I want to tell you that you really, truly will be missed. And thank you for everything. And I hope to hear from you soon somewhere. And if you are somewhere, please let us know where you can, where we can reach you because we will follow you, every one of us. You know, tomorrow is Flash Friday. I know. And I'll be flashing for you. <laughs> Thank you for that. And I'm going to decorate my whole car and say, we'll miss you, Tom. Thank you for that, Lillian. Okay. And okay. you take care, and we hope to hear and see you soon, okay? Yes, thank and you. And we love you very, very much. Yes, thank you so much, Lillian. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It's kind of a rolling motion. It's one 800 800 tom This is uh, Carmen on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hola, papi. <laughs> Carmen. You know that lady right there? She made me feel so sad because, you know, we are. Seriously, we are going to miss you. You have taught so much and everything that you have said, you know, either was very, you know, in, you know, inspirational, motivating, and true, entertaining. But, you know, I, me, myself, I'm going to remember that you brought that woman, Sue, to justice. Awatuki Sue. Awatuki Sue to justice because, you know what? People can have opinions of you, agree with you, disagree with you. You know, that's the world, right? But you know what? You did that, and to me, that was solid. I have been listening to you since 99. Honestly, to tell you the truth, I just took a promotion on the pros and cons list. I used to live five miles from my job. I now moved to a job 20 miles. On the pros and cons was commuting. In the morning, I would have Adam. On the way home, I'd have Tom. Wow. Yeah, that you you and Adam were number one on my. This was one reason why I should take the move. You know, what's a girl gonna do? Bob, I don't know, but Bob, I think you'll Bob. be getting a thank you note from Exxon Mobil, though. I think they're very <laughs> appreciative. You take care, peace, love to all you guys. You guys are, you know, you're amazing. You're gonna be fine. Who who even thinks you're not? You're going out with class. I was listening to you on the way home today, and I was like, man, the epitome of class. Thank you for that. Take care. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye, Carmen. There she goes. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Tony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, greetings and salutations. Yes, and, Tony. You know, thank you for taking the time to take my call. Uh, first, I want to thank you for the many, many hours you've provided me with great entertainment, keeping my ass awake here, uh, driving my truck. Um, what I need to call you car on the carpet for, sir, is that you, I think your analogy to uh, Starbucks was flawed. How so? Well, because Starbucks has plenty of competition. They have coffee, bean, and tea leaf, and I can't name all the others that there are. However, FM Talk has no competition. 
And where you said this was the most expensive, true it is, but when you syndicate where you have 5, 10, 12 shows going out, that's the cost of one production for one show feeding 12 different uh, uh, venues. Well, I've, ma just... I've made no secret of the fact that uh, they changed the format in uh, Dallas and San Francisco and San Diego and Phoenix and New York and Chicago, all cities where our show was on. So we were not on in all those cities anymore, and it was not really possible to amortize the cost of doing the show. I, I just I, I wonder if they're going to wake up on Monday and wonder what they've done because if they switch to a music format, uh, there's LA is flooded with that. Uh, we have Latino and music format, and sports and and politics. We don't have any talk entertainment radio. You know, so unless you're politically motivated or you're somebody who who you know their brain goes dead and they got to you know hear sports all day. You're stuck now. Well, Tony, I appreciate your call again. I, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, the company can do whatever they like because they've been good to me. That's all I can say. It's David on the Tom Likas show. Hello, David. Hi, Tom. Hi. I, uh, well, two things. First of all, typical deal like everyone else calling in. It's been a long time, and I'm really sad to hear you're going. Uh, but also, I want to make a comment. I think this should be a, a loud and clear comment to everyone who's listening, and, and, and that is that. This problem that you and everyone, all the newscasters and everybody have been telling us of just how bad the economy really is, this is for real, folks. If they're willing to take off icons that we're used to hearing and we've been hearing for 12, 14, I don't know, how, Tom, how many years have you been doing this? You mean how, 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 this show or just radio? Oh, this show in L.A. I've been doing this particular show for 15 years and it's been on 97.1 for about 12. Okay, so we can safely say for 12 years. All the doom and gloom and all the highs and lows in the stock market and all the terrible things in the news people get bored and they have something, some other tragedy to tell us about. You know, it's all going to come up, you know, the sky's going to come fall next week. When all that's going down, hey, look, at the end of the day, Tom still comes back you know, tomorrow morning and keeps talking, or, you know, tomorrow afternoon and keeps talking to us and everything keeps right on rolling. Folks, get, get ready for the big one, buddy. This is really bad. When radio stations are really cutting back and everybody is cutting back this much, Hey man, it's it's this is for real. So, thank you for all the advice. Uh, I, I have to give a quick shout out to Aldo, my old coworker, and I in Azusa when I first moved out here from Chicago. He said, "Hey kid, before you go knocking up some girl and getting yourself in trouble, start listening to Like Us." That was many years ago, and I've listened to you as much as I could ever since. But seriously, this is uh, this should be a wake up call to everybody that if if they're sending Tom packing, things are really bad out there. Start saving. Thank you for that, David. I mean, look, they, they, there's some truth in what he's saying. I mean, uh, you know, it, it, there used to be a time, uh, uh, and of course it was when economic times were better. When you had the number one show, that's all you had to worry about. All you had to worry about was getting some ratings. Hell, you know, there's 81 stations in L.A. All you had to worry about. If you could get on and be in the top ten, you could sleep at night. So imagine if you became the number one show, but it was too costly to put your show on the air, so they had to take it off anyway. That's not a commentary about the company. That's a commentary about the economy right now. He's right. That's that that should tell you how bad the economy is right now. And I've been talking about the bad economy now uh, for some time, and I think it's part of the reason our numbers have gone up is because we we've, we've stayed on that topic for a long time. The economy's lousy and getting worse. I told you it would continue to be bad, and I told you the people that are going to start to, <laughs> the slings and arrows for uh, Barack Obama are coming out, and they are coming out. But um, he's absolutely right in that, um, you know, whether it's Starbucks making a great cup of coffee and having to close 700 locations, or we do a show it's number one in men, 2554, and they have to take it off the air anyway. I, I understand why they have to take us off the air. I do. I do. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Wendy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. Did you Hi. say Wendy? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I was hoping you did. I am devastated, truly. Um, I have been listening to you. I've lived in Los Angeles for 15 years, so I've been listening to you 12 out of 15. I've called once before, and I think I've flashed my boobs maybe 12 out of the 15 years you've been on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm just kidding, just kidding. Um, but I literally, I took a job down in Long Beach um, after doing, working in L.A. for so many years, and my only hope was I would be able to listen to you and I listened to Heidi Frosty and Frank and 
I am just devastated. I just feel that you give this open arena for people to speak so freely, and we need more of that in the world. And you really, really graced us with such wonderful advice, and I absolutely adore you, and I don't even know you, and I wish you the best of luck, and um, I hope that you'll be on the air again soon, as soon as Barack saves us, you know? Well, as soon as we get saved, I think a lot of things are going to change, Wendy. Thank you very much for the call. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow, 3 to 5, we'll be here with the final Flash Friday because you asked us to do Flash Friday on the way out the door. Remember, tomorrow's show ends at 5 p.m. I would hate to think you thought it ended at 7 or 8 or something like that and you got in your car and we were already gone. Huh? You don't want that happening, do you? Huh? That you'd be listening and we'd be already gone? Huh? You wouldn't want that, would you? Huh? I, I doubt you'd want to tune in and find out that at 5 o'clock we vacated the premises. Huh? I'm serious. Do you really want to get in your car, turn it on at 520 and find out we're not here? Huh? That's what's going to happen. So I'm telling you, 3 to 5 tomorrow and then we're done. We are done and I'm going to plant grapes. <laughs> That's it. First I'm going to drink some grapes and then I'm going to go plant some. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Esmeralda on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. I am so devastated. I've honestly been listening to you for probably a little less than a year. One of my friends told me about it, and I passed it on to my husband. As I mentioned, I might have broken a few more of your rules, but I'm more devastated that now I have to hear my husband whining about, oh, he can't listen to you anymore. And that's all he listens to all day. And I even made a comment. Well, now you could call me, honey, you know, at work and talk to me. He's like, no, I want Tom. So he's a, like his 101 loyal listener. And we're both sad now that we can't pass your lessons to our son. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> and you see, you were all um, upset. You were all upset that he liked listening so much. And now look what happened. No, I actually started listening to you first. And then I was like, hey, you know what? I started telling him about it. Didn't think he was going to get so into it. Little did I know. <laughs> now, from the moment he wakes up, 97.1. To the moment he gets home, he still puts it on till you're off. So now it's like, okay, now we have to podcast and, you know, save some recordings so our son could hear this. As soon as he starts interested in girls, be like, look, you got to listen to this. Because you're just, I agree with you, like, 99% of the time, I've talked to you before in situations with friends. And I'm just so sad to hear that you're gonna not going to be on the station, but we hope to hear that you'll be on something bigger and better so we could be into listening to you again. So best of luck to you and whatever comes your way, and we can't wait to hear what's coming out from you next. Esmeralda, thank you for the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's the telephone number. Matt on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm okay. Good. Uh, I had a little story to share, uh, share with you. Uh, when you first came on the air, however many years ago that was, on 97.1, I wrote a letter to the general manager of the station. I think it was Bob Moore or Jack Silver, one of the two. And, uh, and he called me, you know, saying basically, get this jerk off the, off the radio. I can't stand this crap. I'm a devout talk radio listener. And, uh, you know, and you just lost a customer. You just lost a list, lost a listen, a listener. Anyways, he gave me a call to my office and we had about a half an hour conversation. Uh, and he kind of educated me on, you know, on what the show was really all about. I ended up becoming a devout listener and, you know, agree with most of the, most of the like is philosophy and uh, have enjoyed the show. You know, sorry to see you go. Thank you for that, Matt. Uh, another person we turned over, for God's sake. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Jimmy in Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat. You're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Hey, what's going on, man? Not much. Hey, sorry to see you to go, brother. Well, thank you for that, Jimmy. 
Yeah, man. Um, uh, basically, my question, or I don't know, my assertion maybe, uh, is that uh, you bought this place up in Santa Barbara County that's got a bunch of um, land to grow vineyards on it. Yes. Um, <laughs> my question to you is, you're a shrewd man, so um, I would assume that you kind of saw the recession coming even before... You know, uh, most of the economic folks kind of saw it coming. I guess because um, I worked for a winery here in Portland uh, for a short time, and I know that that land is really valuable. Um, was that part of the plan? I mean, did you kind of did you kind of grab that land to grow grapes on because you saw that you know maybe in five ten years you could you know put some Zinfandel down or put some Syrah grapes down and then uh, you know start selling out to uh, wineries or what's up? No, nah, it wasn't so much that. Uh, the, the, it is true that I foresaw the, the, the hard economic times. Uh, all the guys here heard me talking about uh, for years, uh, talking about the fact that at some point there was going to be blood in the streets and that I was going to uh, buy some real estate at that time and in the meantime I'm just going to wait for my opportunity and a year ago this week that's exactly what I did. Uh, I did that because, uh, number one, I knew the economy was going to be lousy. And number two, uh, you know, you, you never know what's going to happen in my business. And uh, it was kind of a plan B, like maybe this is what I'm going to do. Maybe I'm going to chill out for a while, and here would be a great place to do that. So it was maybe kind of in the back of your head to, to be a vintner. I don't know about being a vintner because the grapes aren't even planted yet. Uh, but to live in wine country or to spend a part of my time there, uh, to uh, enjoy the culture of that, uh, the the way people act, the way people think, the way they eat, the way they drink wine, um, the way they treat um, a good life and, and what they think a good life is, I, I, I completely agree with how they feel. And I needed well to be there. Well, I mean, personally, I think I think you'd be a fool not to uh, not to take up on that opportunity and and you know to to start maybe growing some grapes for the possibility of selling to to uh, to winemakers that know what to that you know know how to turn that into you know magical wine. Well, you know, that I could mean, happen. I, by the way, I'm going to tell you a secret that you didn't know and that we didn't talk about on the air. Uh, but for a good part of last summer, I was not here on the lot at Paramount. I was not doing the show from this studio. I was doing it from my ranch. And I was doing it from there uh, simply because I could. I have a studio. I spent twenty grand putting a studio in there. And uh, the day that they announced Sarah Palin's name as the running mate to John McCain, I was on vacation at my ranch. I was literally in my pool, and I had the TV playing in the background. And when I heard that Sarah Palin had been picked and who she was, I got out of the pool and stepped into the studio and went on the air. Instead of doing a vacation day of running a rerun, I came in and did the show. Nice. And that's uh, the, the way I like to look at it is, I, you know, even if I'm at a place like that, I'm always ready to go on the air. I'm always ready to, uh, to talk about what's going on. And uh, if something interesting happens, I, I, you want to be on the Tom. Think out Detroit style. Are you ready? Here you go. Thank you, my man. All right. Detroit style. Give him a machine gun and uh, the gunshot, or you know, you know, you know how Detroit is. <laughs> yeah, that's Detroit. Give, give him a little fire, get some flames over there. Give him some, give, give him some uh, Hell Knight. Throw that in. <laughs> yeah. Ah, there you go. That's Detroit. <laughs> It's Detroit for you, right? You want to go out Detroit style? One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Pete also in Portland. Portland, check in today on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Tom. Hello, Pete. I had to go old school that time. Been with you for over ten years. Wow! I can't believe what's going on, man. 
Well, I'll tell you what. I sit in drive throughs at Starbucks, 10, 15 cars long. I go out to dinner. I wait 30, 40 minutes for a table. I'm going, recession? Really? There's, there's money out there. This seals the deal. Now I know it's real. Now I know it's for sure. But the good news is, from what I see, the, there is money out there. And, and, Tom, the way you guys have held true to yourselves over the whole 10 years, I'll tell you what, it's going to find you. That money's coming back to you. It's a done deal. No, it's going to happen. Well, uh, thank you for that. I appreciate it, Pete. I really do. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Uh, forget our last show is tomorrow from 3 until 5. 3 until 5 p.m. Pacific time. And because you asked for it, it, we will make it Flash Friday. So you will turn your headlights on, leave them on all day as a show of support. That's fine. Everybody wants to feel like they're in this together, and we're going to do it your way. That's what we're going to do. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Wow Matt on the Tom Liga show. Matt is listening to us on the online stream from San Antonio. Hello. Hey Tom, how's it going? It's going okay, Matt. Hey, uh, I'm really bumming right now because I'm in the military and I'm getting deployed in a week and a half. And I mean, I always look forward to listening to you when I got off of work. And uh, hopefully with your time off, maybe you can do some USO stuff while I'm over there and I get to see you do some uh, pretty cool stuff. You think if, about doing something the, like that? If the USO wants me, uh, I'm going to have a lot of free time now. So, uh, sure. Why not? Yeah, Tom, man. I love you, man. And I started listening to you when I was 17. I listened to you when I was in Phoenix. My dad got me hooked on you. And I'm going to miss you, like, terribly, man. Thank you for that, Matt. Can you take me out uh, tribal style with this new dog? African tribal style. You know I can. Baninge, 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 so penza. Baninge, 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 so penza. Kota nenge, asika mama. Boya kota nenge, asika mama. Biatcha. Tom. Tom. 1-800-5800-TOM 1-800-5800-866 The Tom Likas Show It's the Tom Likas Show from Hollywood Yes it is 1-800-5800-TOM Tomorrow's the last Flash Friday Maybe ever so your headlights go on when you go to work tomorrow and you leave mom as you drive all day and then we get on the air at 3 o'clock tomorrow. We enjoy our last two hours together from 3 until 5. Hopefully you'll see some boobage out there on the highways. And it'll be one last show of support, not just for me, it's for everybody. It's for all you guys who asked me to do this. We'll do it. Last Friday tomorrow. 1-800-5800-TOM. Luis on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey Tom, just wanted to say that this is really awful. <laughs> it sucks. Um, I was you know, just on a personal level. Like before, I started listening to you. I mean, I started listening to you not too long ago. But um, before that, I was living a, a lifestyle similar to the one you advise a lot of people to live. Except I never really had a way to identify myself with it in terms of society. And it's like, so I always had kind of a negative feeling about it, just because of like. You know, the social constructs of marriage and stuff like that. Then I started listening to you, though, and all the advice that you started giving, like, made me feel better and kind of come to terms with, like, myself as a person in society. Like, not having to do, like, you know, not really feeling the need to get married and being in relationships and stuff like that. So, I don't, like, you really helped me come to terms with myself and my personal choices and stuff like that. And it just sucks because, like, I, you know... I feel like I still had so much more to learn, and now I'm not going to get a chance to. I understand. Well, I stay with our website. You stay with our MySpace. And, uh, you know, I will, be, as I said, I have more time now to explore some of those television inquiries I've had. Yeah. I will have more time to explore some of the uh, book inquiries I've had. Yeah. Um, I will make some television appearances now that I uh, I have the time. A lot of these shows tape when I'm on the air, and I'm not able to do the shows. Uh, so I'll probably make some of those TV appearances that I haven't been able to make. Yeah. And uh, so I'm not going to disappear entirely. I'm not leaving L.A. I'll be here. And, uh, uh, you know, so. at, at, some so. point, at some point, uh, the planets will align and uh, uh, we'll be uh, back bigger and better than ever. I hope so, man. Uh, you know, thanks for being on the air, though, and thanks for all the advice and stuff like that. 
Well, thank you. Thank you for the call, Louise. I appreciate the call. It's one 800 tom This is Houston on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Houston. How are you, Dad? I'm doing great. Man, first time caller, long time listener. I've been listening since I was about nine years old. My mom got me into you. She was raised by a single mom. Dad was never really around. I didn't meet him until I was around 12 years old. So you, you are my dad, Tom. You are the man who raised me. And I don't know why, uh, why my dads don't stick around, but you know, I've learned to live with it and you've taught me many valuable lessons. I think that's fantastic. I really do. And, Tom, let me tell you, dude, I am a college student. I'm 19 years old. And this this recession stuff, man, it's, uh, it's insane, Tom. And I'm really upset that now you are going to be gone and you're not going to be here to be the voice for us guys. Because I called my buddy when I found out that you're going off the air. And I guess he had me on speakerphone because I said, dude, Tom Likas is going off the air. And I hear his girlfriend in the background go, good. And, you know, I, you need to be around, man. I mean, you know, I, I think you're a great, talented guy, and you're, gonna, you're definitely going to find a place in the industry again. Definitely, Tom. Well, hey, could you, could you take me out? Uh, could you take me out old school? Could you blow me up, Tom? Absolutely. Here you go, Houston. A listener named Aaron, who lives in Yorba Linda, he wrote it. He said, Tom, you have been awesome to me. I've listened to you for about two years, dedicatedly now. This whole scenario reminds me of an analogy you once said about seven months back. You compared Seinfeld to a relationship. Seinfeld had a great ten years or so. You enjoyed the memories of the time you spent together, but it had to end. So remember the good times and remember that you had them in your life rather than not at all. I don't remember how exactly you phrased it, but it's exactly the same for you. You are awesome, and I have enjoyed all the times and memories I shared with you. I'm glad I got to experience them. You are awesome, man. That's from Aaron in your Belinda. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Here comes Anna on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Dad. Hi, dear. I am so upset that you are leaving us. I just want to let you know that I was one of these dumb bitches that you always talk about, that your caller's calling about. I had no idea the way a guy's mind worked. And because of you, now I do. And I owe that all to you. And these dumb bitches out here that listen to you nationwide that say, oh, I'm so glad Tom's going off the air and blah, blah. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. They are losing a great service with you, sir, because you tell it like it is. And if more women listened to this show while you were on there and took your advice and did the one-on-one, they would be much, much happier. And I'm just so devastated that you're leaving. I will follow you anywhere. I love you, and blow me up, baby. Here you go, Anna. See, we have Brian Gallion on the phone. I haven't talked to Brian in a long time. How you doing? Tom? Brian! Hey, I was shocked to hear the news today. Well, uh, yeah, I understand. Uh, of course, a lot of people are shocked. Uh, Brian Gallion uh, directed a documentary about our show called Blow Me Up, Tom, uh, that was released, uh, do I recall correctly, around 2000? Uh, 2000, the it was. 2000, that's right. And every once in a while, uh, it crops up online and people talk about it. I still hear about it. Uh, you can actually view it. Somebody posted it on Google Video, Tom Likas Documentary. You search that, you can actually watch it. Really? Yeah. That's outrageous. But I had to call and thank you. I was for a company at the time called 44 Blue Productions, and it was the greatest job, even to this day, that I've had. Um, I was lucky enough to get to follow you side by side with the camera. Like It was kind of like Madonna's Tooth or Dare, but it was Likas. And got to just go everywhere with you. It was amazing. Uh, now, you were with us at right in the thick of when it was the absolute wildest. Tell people what it was like to be on the road with us. Well, it was it was challenging as a married guy because, every, <laughs> you know, I, I mean, for instance, I was on the 405 freeway filming Flash Friday, um, just part of the job. 
And uh, so we're there with Stacey Burke, and we're and we're we're actually causing a traffic jam on the 405 because it's being broadcast on the radio. And so then shortly after that, I got a voicemail. I checked it was my wife, and she said, "Don't bother coming home." <laughs> <laughs> but you did go home ultimately, didn't you? I went home, and I'm still still there today. <laughs> and still and still paying for it, probably. Um, yeah, but it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm still paying for it. You were with us at some uh, of the listener parties in uh, Redondo Beach and in Portland and in Seattle. You were you were out there with us. I was at Black Cloud uh, Brewery in Seattle, and we were just overwhelmed at, at what it did to downtown Seattle, the traffic, and and it you know it just was overwhelming. I mean, I was very lucky to be to be able to be side by side with you and just witness it. It was insane. It was just crazy. Well, Brian, it's so good to hear from you. I'm so glad you checked in on our last couple of days here. Well, yeah, I had to. I mean, it's, you know, it's a time I look back on, you know, fondly, and uh, it's sad to see it go. But, you know, I know you'll be back. I mean, uh, you know, this just opens up a new opportunity. I'm just interested to see what it's going to be. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Brian Galley, the director of Blow Me Up Tom. There he is. Oh, are we going to get emotional now? Are we going to have a little emotional conversation now? Oh, yes. Back in the day, Brian Gallion and his camera. That was back in the days when I would I would book two or three hotel rooms in the same city. And then I would double and triple shift. Oh, no, no. It's not that I'm going to see somebody else. Uh, we have big media in the morning. We have production to do. Don't worry. Next time I'm in town, I'll give you a call. And then I never did. Do I regret that? No, I don't. I'll never forget checking into two different hotel rooms. And when one person who I had arrived with got bored and said goodnight, I left. And Dean had two chicks waiting in the next room two blocks away. Those were the days. I'll always miss those days. And I'll think back on them fondly. Another Tom Likas moment. All right. Tomorrow, 3 to 5, it's Flash Friday. When you go to work tomorrow, turn the headlights on, leave them on all day. 3 to 5. We're only doing two hours tomorrow, and that's it. Be there. The Tom Likas Show.